Today's topic is Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, ADHD. Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder is a mental disorder characterized by abnormal levels of hyperactive and abnormal behavior. People who suffer from this disorder may have unstable relationships, perform poorly at work and school, have low self-esteem and other problems. The disorder affects both young and old. Symptoms normally start in early childhood and continue in adulthood, but for some, symptoms decrease or become less frequent as they get older. About 50% of people diagnosed in childhood continue to have symptoms into adulthood, and about 5% of adults have the condition. The disorder is three times more common in boys than in girls. As of 2015, it is estimated to affect about 51.1 million people globally. Treatment is very important, as untreated ADHD can have a negative impact on many aspects of life. Causes Most cases are of unknown causes. However, interactions between genetics, the environment, and social factors are believed to play a role. Studies suggest that a reduction in dopamine, a chemical in the brain that helps move signals from one nerve to another, may be a factor in ADHD. Other risk factors may include alcohol intake during pregnancy can cause fetal alcohol spectrum disorder, which can include ADHD. A family history of the disorder. Extreme premature birth. Very low weight may increase the risk. Children exposed to a certain toxic substance, such as lead, Certain infections during pregnancy, at birth, and in early childhood. Infections such as measles and rubella. Traumatic brain injury. A dysfunctional family. Symptoms. Trouble focusing or concentrating on tasks. Being easily distracted. Hot temper. Frequent mood swings. Impulsiveness. Poor planning. Unable to listen or carry out instructions. Interrupts or intrudes conversations, talks excessively, difficulty sitting still, avoid or dislike tasks that require sustained mental effort, diagnosis and treatment. Almost everyone has symptoms similar to ADHD at some point in their lives. If symptoms are recent or occur occasionally in the past, you probably don't suffer from the disorder. ADHD is diagnosed only when symptoms are so severe that they cause ongoing problems in more than one area of your life. No single test is available that can confirm the diagnosis, but the diagnosis will likely include a physical exam to help rule out other possible causes of symptoms. The doctor may gather information by asking questions about current medical issues, personal and family medical history, and the history of symptoms. The doctor may gather this information from family members and teachers and use rating scales to evaluate that information. Treatment. Treatment option usually includes psychotherapy, medication, or both. These treatments don't cure the condition, they only relieve it. The two main medication used are stimulants and non-stimulants. Stimulants are commonly the most prescribed medications. They work by increasing the amounts of dopamine and norepinephrine. If stimulants don't work, the doctor may suggest non-stimulants such as otomoxetine, stratera, and certain antidepressants such as bupropion, wellbuterin. Otomoxetine and antidepressants work slower than stimulants. Psychotherapy such as cognitive behavioral therapy may teach you how to manage behavior and help to improve symptoms. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.